Folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. Now, we're going to talk to you. This is going to be a series of videos pertaining to what particular RV is right for you and your family. And we're going to start off today by talking about pop-ups. Pop-ups come in very many uh, different shapes and styles. And I'm going to kind of go over some pros and cons to the pop-ups today. And down the road, what we're going to be going over, we're going to go over travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes, all the different series of motorhomes and so forth. But uh, for more information on any camper, please do. If you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to pop-ups and what they bring to you. Okay, folks, so let's talk about pop-ups. Now, why do people buy pop-ups? People will buy pop-ups because it's the only thing that maybe their vehicle can tow. Um, possibly because they have to sleep more than two people. Uh, pop-ups come in very various shapes and sizes. Some that'll sleep two people, some that'll sleep up to eight or ten, depending on uh, the size of the you know, children, of course. But uh, lightweight, the other nice thing is that when, the, when you close them up, you're able to store those, if you wish, in your garage. So that's one of the big things. The other thing you get with the, with the pop-ups, you can get them with inside showers. You can get them with water heater. You can get them with furnace, AC. So they come with a lot of the different um, uh, equipment or options uh, that you would see on a travel trailer for you know, comfort and convenience. So that is one thing with a pop-up that might be right for you. Now let's talk about the downside of pop-ups. Um, typically, some people might not enjoy the labor in setting them up and breaking them down. You know, if you're out there, you know, you get to the campground late at night, it's kind of a challenge to put these things together if you haven't been doing it. Once you learn how to put these things up, you could have this thing set up within about 10, 15 minutes. So they're not totally hateful, but they are a little bit more work than if you had a travel trailer or, you know, a teardrop or things of that nature. Um, now, the other thing is, depending on the type of pop-up you get, you might have them where you have poles that go under the beds, or if you step up to some of the other ones, where they're now they're having the cable system actually holding the bed up. So they can get relatively simple to use. But uh, let's show you the inside of a couple different pop-ups and kind of give you, you know, what to expect in a pop-up. So pop-ups can be very, very basic sometimes, where you basically just have two beds, a table, and you know, some storage for things. So this could be one type of a pop-up. Now here's another type of pop-up that's going to give you much more in the way of sleeping capacity as well as amenities. You're going to have a sofa, dinette, some cooking area, furnace. You can put an air conditioner on here. And of course, you're going to have much more storage in a pop-up like this. Maybe you'd like to go ahead and step up and get something a little bit larger. Something that's going to give you a power roof, vent fan, give you the toilet and shower, but still give you a sofa and a dinette. And then, of course, heated mattresses. Who would ever have thought that you could get heated mattresses in a pop-up? So this is an other way that you could go ahead and maybe satisfy your wants and needs for a pop-up. Or maybe you say, you know what, I need a little bit more room. And so you opt to go ahead and get up into even a bigger pop-up. Again, you know, weight's going to be the issue of what you can tow. But you see this one has a slide-out. It's a dinette slide-out. And of course, nice large uh, beds outside grill and so forth. You know, you have your kitchen and again your bathroom. Now on the outside of some of these you might even get a little bit more creative and actually have what they call outside storage compartments. So folks, there you have it with pop-ups. Might be something for you, might not be something for you, but at least you have some kind of an idea of what a pop-up can bring to you. 
Uh, for more information on these or if you want to see them in person, please if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Appreciate you watching and we'll be coming back at you 